are following several top stories on this Monday, but we begin with what you can expect outside today. It is right. a weather now alert day and here with me is weather now meteorologist Alex Carter and hey, hey. Alex. We did get some rain last time, but I know yeah. you're tracking storms for tonight as well. That's right. The force Alyssa Young is live in Aiken County now where two vehicles rolled over this morning. Alyssa, what can you tell us at this point? Sabrina, well, I can tell y'all that the roads are open and traffic is moving smoothly, but that wasn't the case about a time right now is 715. Let's take a quick look at what's trending this morning. People magazine's new sexiest man alive has been revealed for 2023. Patrick Dempsey stole our hearts on Gray's Anatomy as Derek Shepard, aka McDreamy, almost two decades ago. Your local news and weather now. Fox 54 News now. Welcome and thanks for joining us tonight on Fox 54 News at 11. I'm Trent Butler. And I'm Kimberly Scott. So glad to have you with us. Busy night for the Richmond County Sheriff's Office looking into a shooting that happened earlier this evening. Deputies responding to a Dollar General in the 800 block of Stevens Creek Road in Augusta around 8 this evening. Once they arrived on the scene, deputies say that they found a woman who'd been shot at least one time. She was taken to the hospital for treatment of non-life-threatening injuries. A After the election and the votes and numbers are top of mind this morning, one key decision decision on the ballots, a half penny sales tax that would fund the construction of a brand new James Brown arena. 66% voted yes and 34% voted no. Okay. It's spooky to be hungry, so let's scare away hunger. Chief Meteorologist Jay Jeffries is live now at the Golden Harvest Food Bank with how you can help. Good morning, Jay. <laughs> Well, good morning to you once again, therefore. I know it's early in the morning, yes, and I'm here. We're going to be here all day long. We do this each and every year, and this time, boy, we got a goal to meet. I am standing in the new facility, and this is fantastic. If Breaking news this morning. One person is dead after a fire in Richmond County. The Richmond County Coroner's Office responded to that fire around 3 this morning on Huntington Street along with the fire department. The victim was found inside the burning building. An autopsy will be scheduled, so stay with Fox 54 for updates on that developing story. Good evening. Thanks for letting us tee off your Master Saturday. I'm Abby Bradshaw. Cold, rainy, and windy golf at Augusta National Golf Club today. Here's a look at the scene. Lots of umbrellas and rain boots as patrons headed to the course. Let's now bring in Weather Now meteorologist Steve Smith. And Steve, should we be bringing those tomorrow too? And by the looks of what's behind you, I'm going to say... Yes, you would be wrong, but uh, really you're going to need a jacket tomorrow because okay. it's going to be on the chilly side. It's going to be sunny, but windy. Defending Masters champion Scotty Scheffler here on hole 16 fires off the tee shot right of the flag. Love that hole number 16, a fan favorite. He finishes tied for 29th. He is at one under par. He's 11 shots off the lead, though. And speaking of the leaderboard, Kepka now at 12 under par after shooting five under today. Rock and see some golf. And patrons aren't the only ones affected by the rain. It presents a different set of challenges for the golfers. Fox 54's Ansley Edwards picks up the story from there. That's right, Jared. It's not just the cold and wind. The course conditions that we saw during the practice rounds are completely different than what the golfers have experienced during tournament play. With the weather. Well, today, America vows to never forget. First, a look inside the 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony at the Pentagon. 22 years ago, it still seems fresh. Okay? In less than 90 minutes, the world tragically around us changed significantly. I'm running, just been in remembrance of my fallen heroes and the support of good cause. And closer to home, how Augusta University honors lives lost in the 9-11 attacks with the annual Tunnels to Tower 5K.
Good morning to you and we begin this hour remembering and honoring the lives lost in the 9-11 terror attacks more than two decades ago. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm Kimberly Scott. Well, Augusta University spent the weekend honoring the lives lost by participating in the Tunnel to Towers 5K. Fox 54's Alyssa Young was there. The seventh annual Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers 5K Run and Walk was held Saturday morning at the Augusta University Somerville campus. The event commemorates lives lost on September 11th of 2001. I'm running just been in remembrance of my fallen heroes and the support of good cause. And it's pretty much. A display on campus showed pictures and stories of those who were lost. Some runners even had their pictures and names clipped to their shirts. As each run across the finish line, cheerleaders and other participants supported them. Ken Burroughs crossed the finish line first for the male division. He says this event is important in so many ways. Honored to be here today, you know, honoring those who uh, passed away on 9-11. Um, it's a great event being out here, um, lots of camaraderie amongst folks, um, but the main thing is remembering those who were fallen as a result of 9-11. Augusta University officials say participation grows every year. Reporting in Somerville, I'm Alyssa Young, Fox 54 News Now. Well, starting at your Monday morning, very unlike your Sunday morning. We saw plenty of shower activity in the overnight hours going into early morning yesterday. Not the case today, but later this afternoon could see a few pop up showers and thunderstorms, high temperatures yet again getting near 90 degrees. So status quo, typical summertime weather. That's what to expect for the first half of this week. Downtown Augusta off to a quiet start early on this morning. You're at 68 in Augusta, 68 as well in Aiken, down to the south a little warmer, 70 in Louisville, Millen and 72 for you folks in Emanuel County. But we're not gonna see a lot of shower activity for the first half of today. Further west, we've seen some showers, thunderstorms closer to Macon and Atlanta. None of that is pushing eastward throughout today. I think Tuesday and Wednesday, it's gonna start to change a little bit. More showers and thunderstorms ahead of our next cold front. It's going to be changing our weather pattern a pretty good bit. So notice that coming down into the mid south on Wednesday. And then what does that do for our weather pattern later on this week? It could be a chilly Friday and Saturday night or even Saturday morning as well. We'll talk about all the details in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. On this September 11th, many across the CSRA taking the time to remember and to honor lives lost more than 20 years ago. Columbia County Fire Rescue will host the 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony happening this morning at the Plaza Parking Deck in Evans. The event begins at 8-15 with a presentation of colors. The program will end with prayer. The Pentagon remembering those who lost their lives on September 11th during the terrorist attacks. This happened on Friday during their ceremony. Deputy Secretary of Defense, Vice Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff and Deputy Director, Administrator and Management gave remarks honoring the lives lost 22 years ago and praising the resilience of the American people after that tragic day. We had the first responders outside just from all over the place coming in and helping us. Okay. Those are the heroes. Those are the heroes we also remember uh, along with the victims. And that's the legacy we'll carry on and remember all the time. The unity that we displayed in the aftermath of the attacks highlighted the very best of America. We held hands. We comforted each other. We donated blood. We volunteered our time and we coalesced as one nation. The events of 9-11 transformed our nation and how we view our national security. It also transformed each of us individually in ways that we don't always talk about publicly. Well, today, the National September 11th Memorial and Museum will host its annual commemoration ceremony. Family members of the victims of the 2001 attacks and the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and even Flight 93, and those victims killed in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing are all invited back to downtown Manhattan to read the names of their loved ones.
Closer to home, Thompson police are investigating a deadly shooting in Thompson. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says it happened around 11 on Saturday night. Police responding to a home uh, there in the area, and that is where they found 32-year-old Stevens Tate dead. A woman with him was also injured. Investigators say that they were in a car together when someone approached them and started shooting. If you have any information, call the Thompson Police Department. Augusta University President Brooks Keel planning to retire at the end of this school year. Keel served as the ASU's president or Augusta University's president for eight years. He oversaw the renaming and restructuring of Augusta University from Georgia Regents University. Now, Keel has served in the university system of Georgia for 14 years. He also spent more than 40 years in research and higher education. Sad news to report out of Tennessee, a father and his eight-year-old son are dead after a boat crashed into a barge on the Chatham Lake about 30 miles west of Nashville. This happened on Saturday night. Authorities say that the tow boat was pushing the barge. People in the barge tried to help the victims. They say that the father, 36-year-old Stephen White, was not breathing. Searchers found his son's body later on on Sunday. This crash is under investigation. The devastation in Morocco is severe. Following last week's powerful earthquake that killed more than 2,000 people so far, search and recovery efforts press on, but survivors say that relief isn't flowing to them fast enough. Fox's, Fox News's Chris Domino has more. Search and rescue teams in Morocco still frantically combing through the rubble for survivors after a massive 6.8 magnitude earthquake slammed the country Friday night. The powerful tremor is reducing many homes and structures to piles of debris. The number of dead soaring to more than 2,000 as of Sunday night and is only expected to keep climbing. Every house here is broken. The United Nations estimates roughly 300,000 people have been affected by the disaster. Many survivors who lost everything are now forced to sleep in the streets as they await food, water, and other donations. Many people need mattresses and to give um, them some hope in this terrible, terrible situation. Navigating badly hit towns and villages can be risky as people fear what's left of many damaged buildings may continue to crumble around them. You hear the sounds of the wall cracking. Every time a person passes by here, part of the wall falls. The United States and France have offered aid. As of Sunday, Moroccan officials said they are only accepting assistance from Spain, Qatar, Britain, and the United Arab Emirates. Survivors in remote mountain towns say resources aren't getting to them fast enough. These people are suffering since last Friday, when the earthquake struck. Since then, no one from the authorities paid a visit to us. Local people are helping each other. They are sharing their meager resources as well as anything they get from benefactors or charities. Chris DeMeo, Fox News. The country honors the victims of 9-11, as some survivors struggle with lasting health effects. I'm Mallory Rivera in New York with the details coming up. And it is day 12 of the manhunt for the fugitive killer on the run from Pennsylvania prison. New developments and thousands of dollars being offered as a reward. We'll tell you about it.